All right, guys, today we're gonna be chucking some old street wheels onto my Losi Mini T 2.0 brush so that we uh, don't ruin these. And hopefully, with these being slightly larger, we'll be able to get some pretty good top speed. So let's get these old wheels off, get some hex adapters on there, and uh, then we can chuck these on and see how fast it'll go. All right, guys, there we go. Got the new wheels on there. And I got to say, it doesn't look too bad at all. So, yeah, it's definitely a little bit higher. I did lose my body clips, which I'm not super happy about. I've only got one holding this body on right now. Definitely sits higher. Problem with that is that the rear can still slap the chassis, but the front bottoms out the shocks before it hits the ground. So I gotta be careful with jumping now because otherwise I might break my shock towers. But uh, yeah, guys, let's go see what kind of speeds we can get with this thing. All right, here we go. Oh, yes, guys. That is way better. Oh, that is fast. <laughs> so I swapped the front wheels out for some black ones. Uh, that I had lying around because the other one I was using was cracked. And I also put some washers on the rear wheels so that it didn't keep falling off because the nut wouldn't go on there far enough. Let's see if it can still do little rocks and stuff like it used to. Oh yeah, the wheels might not be quite as grippy, but they're bigger, so that helps. Also, if you're wondering why I've got the duct tape on the back, it's because I couldn't find any body clips, so I was just using it to keep the body on, and it's honestly working, so. This is great, because now my tires aren't gonna go bald every time I drive this thing. It's not doing too bad on these street tires. Still drifts pretty good at uh, on these small rocks. Motor seems to be having a little bit harder time getting it going though, which is fair enough. It's like a 6,000 kV motor, so still has a decent amount of grip, so that's great. It's not quite as much as it used to, but. Oh. Yeah, guys, this is still great with these street wheels on. Probably giving the motor a bit of a rough time. All right, yeah, let's get this thing back in the garage. Well, guys, back in the garage here with the Mini T um, and these, well, I was gonna say new, but these are anything but new. The uh, 12 millimeter hexes on there and the street wheels. And I've got to say, I actually really like this thing. It's quick, um, still has enough grip to go off road and pop wheelies and fun stuff like that. Yeah, I think these are actually perfect if you're just kind of street bashing it like I am, or even just in some dirt or some rocks. These are fantastic. Gives it a little bit more ground clearance. If you're jumping it, um, like I said earlier, watch out for, you know, the front shock tower. If you jump it too hard, you might break something because the shocks bottom out before the chassis can slap, unless you land it like really flat like this. But uh, yeah, guys, I mean, these are perfect. You could always get some of those like all-terrain rally car kind of tire that they sell for 10th scale um, touring cars, and that would make it an off-road car. The tires would be a lot cheaper to replace, and they'd also be taller and they'd last you longer so yeah guys this is actually a great mod i'll put a link in the description to where you can 3d print these uh hub adapters from if you've got a printer you could print them out or if you don't have a printer you could buy them they work fantastic this is some creality pla printed it at 225 degrees celsius with the bed at 50 degrees but i've got the glass bed on here and uh yeah it came out good i printed it at 100 percent infill with no raft or anything like that 
so yeah guys with all that being said i hope you guys enjoyed this video if you did please consider subscribing hit that notification bell and uh, hit the like button and i'll see you guys on this video right here